Morning guys. So taking a video right after I finished my morning workout. I haven't done a video in a little bit. Uh kind of been busy doing a bunch of things. Started a free seven day challenge groups. So if you know any friends who aren't sure if they want to do a beach body program but they want to kind of jumpstart their fitness program, um message me or have them friend me on Facebook because it's just starting but I'll be doing one every seven days. So today one just started and I give them a nutrition plan and I do workout DVD workout DVDs, workout videos um, for them and you know morning motivations and trying to keep them on track for seven days, change their lifestyle habits. So uh, I just started my first one. I think I had like six people in it, which is good. And I'm happy about that. So hopefully we can get some other people moving in the right direction towards positive lifestyle changes. Um, I just finished Shaleen Extreme Burn Circuit 3. And then this other um, high intensity interval workout that I found online, um, which was awesome. And I posted the link for it. Um, kicked my butt. That's why I'm still talking like this. Um, something I wanted to talk to you guys about today was um, following through with your goals and your actions. So, uh, because I kind of fell off myself, I think. And what I realized was I was thinking a lot about things that I wanted to do and, you know, writing things down, but not actually following through with them. And that's one of the reasons that I started the seven day challenge group was because this is something that I love doing and I'm really passionate about. And I realized, you know, if I'm not doing something about it, then what am I doing? You know, I mean, and at the end of the day, if you know, when you, before you lay your head down on the pillow, you want to be able to ask yourself, and answer positively, affirmatively, you know, did I, did I love today? Did I live today? Did I matter today? And that comes from um, Brendan Burchard and this uh, book that I read called The Charged Life by him, which is phenomenal. And I listen to motivational little YouTube things, um, video clips that he does in the, um, on the way to work in the morning. That's what I do on the way to work in the morning, but they're awesome. And I listen to them. And um, what he says is, you know, when you lay your head down at night, you should ask yourself three things. Did I live today? Did I love today? And did I matter today? And I think the only way that you can do those things is if you actually put meaning and action behind the goals that you set for yourself. Um, and if you're not doing that, then what's the point of having those goals? So regardless of whether or not your goal is fitness oriented, if it's something with your career, if it's something personal, something that you want to change in your relationship, um, something academic, uh, whatever it may be, you want to start your own business, you want to, you know, um, get out of the job that you're in, you want to move on to something else, maybe you just, you're working at something, but you don't really like it, you want to do something else, don't be afraid to take those steps. The difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people go after the knowledge that they need. An unsuccessful person will just say, well, I don't know how to do that and I'll never, I'm never going to find out. Well, that's not necessarily true. It might just take a little bit more work. A successful person isn't smarter than you, they just worked harder than you. And the more that I'm listening to things by Brendan Burchard and Shaleen Johnson, the more it makes sense to me. So it's even the same thing with you know, working out. Uh, a person with a really fit, toned body it's not that they're, you know, necessarily genetically predisposed to it. They're just working harder. You know, they just, it's something that they want and it's something that they're committed to. And you may say that you want it and it may be your goal, but if you're not putting action behind it every day, if you're not saying no to those chips or you're not saying no to that glass of wine, if you're not saying no to those ice, which, ice cream, which I'm totally guilty of, you know, then it's not going to happen. Where somebody else is more committed to it, they're putting action behind <clears throat> their goal. So really what I'm saying to you is think about what your goals are. Think about the actions that you're putting behind them to really, really achieve them. And if you are being honest with yourself about how much energy you're putting into it. And at the end of the day, ask yourself, did I live today? Did I love today? Did I matter today? Did I do something valuable and worthy today and if you can put your head down on your pillow every night and say that you say affirmatively to all three of those questions then you're doing a really good job and it doesn't matter how much money you make and it doesn't matter what kind of car you drive and it doesn't matter what kind of house you live in you're still living a really charged positive life 
and all the good things are going to come to you naturally. Okay, so have a great day. Hope that made sense to you. It made sense when I thought about it this morning, but it's really early. So have a good day and um, good job on all your results. I'm seeing so many positive posts. It makes me so happy for all of you. And I will talk to you guys soon.